There was a great revival in the Hebrides in the early 1900s. Began to move, moved up to the pleading for it into the 40s. Maybe we could say it topped out in the early 50s. Two old women, one was 84 years old and one was 82 years old. One was blind and one was humped over so badly with spinal stenosis, just, just arched over. But they had passion for revival. They wanted God to work. This, this is what happened. They couldn't even get out to the church to pray. They couldn't even get out to the church to worship. Their house became a place to meet. People came in. They got so passionate about revival coming to the, their isle, the Isle of Lewis. They got so passionate about it. They confronted the preacher and wanted to know if he was thoroughly right with God. <laughs> and they prayed and prayed and prayed. And they'd seen the Lord, they said, with the church filled up and God blessing a great overflow. And the fire of God struck that tiny little obscure place off the coast of Scotland. And when it happened, there was a young teenage boy that got saved in it. His name was Donald. And the preacher became so dependent upon Donald and so close to Donald, he would ask him to lead in public prayers and help him with the meetings, and he did. Oh, how God worked. People began to hear about it, and the revival fire spread. It spread. And God blessed in a, in a great way. Those two old women, the people, kind of people, people don't want in a church anymore. And from that same island, there was a, a young girl who was a cousin to Donald Smith, who immigrated to America. Her name was Marianne Smith McLeod. She came to America and in 1936. She met a man named Fred and they were married. They fell in love, they were married. God blessed in a great way. And those old women were her aunts. And they came out of that fiery revival, that fiery revival. They really experienced revival. And they sent a Bible, a copy of the Word of God that had been used in a special way in that revival to Mary Ann. She started having children. I think it was 1937, she had her first child. They named him after his father, Fred. Then she had her second child, named after herself, Mary Ann. Then she had her third child, Elizabeth. Then she had her fourth child. And she was so impacted by this teenage boy God had used in that revival of the Hebrides. She named him Donald. And she gave him that Bible, that Hebrides Revival Bible. He was born in 1946. He's now the 45th president of the United States. And that revival Bible is in the Oval Office. I'm saying to you, I don't know how, why, I don't know how it all comes together. But I, but I believe God is putting some things together to give us just a window, just a window. If he, if he could find some open people who know what the wind is for. Can this be the time the wind is open? Providentially, God has prepared the moment and we will become the people of prayer, pleading with God. This is a plea. Will thou not revive us again? Will you, will you, will you be a part of that? Will you?